Hello everyone, welcome to Apogee 4 minute videos for developers, Quota Policy API Traffic Management series. In this video, we're going to see how distributed and synchronous uh, XML element works in Quota Policy. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apogee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apogee Edge account, uh, you can register at apogee.com slash edge. You need basics of Apogee Edge Quota Policy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute video. As you seen in earlier 4 minute video, uh, by default when you say 3 per minute and quota policy, uh, quota policy actually sends uh, more than 3 requests to the backend server. In earlier case we have seen almost like 6 requests going to the backend server. The reason behind that is the policies in Apache Edge actually executes in an environment called message processors. And each Apache Edge comes with two message processors by default with the trial arc. That is the reason when you set three per minute, it actually allowed six API calls to the backend within a minute. The reason behind that is MPs maintain their own counters in each environment, the message processors. So each message processors has its own counter and that is the reason actually six calls went to the backend. If there are more message processors uh, to uh, handle the load, then if you say three per minute without a distributed and synchronous uh, elements in the XML policy, it will be more number of calls reaching the target server, even though you said three per minute. But how do we solve this problem if you want an exact three per minute as a quota for a particular developer or a particular uh, uh, request uh, coming from a particular client. So we can actually solve this problem by having a central counter uh, where it counts the number of requests going through Apache Edge and it synchronously sends same data to each message processor so that message processor knows what is the available count, what is the count that has been already used. So to do this, we need to set the distributed and synchronous elements in the XML policy. Let's see how to do that. I have a uh, quota policy here attached to a simple mock target, mock target at iapg.net. So as you can see in this quota policy, we said allowed three per minute, but we actually made the request. It allowed more than three requests within a minute. So let's quickly test that out. As you can see, it allows more than three requests uh, within a minute. The reason behind that is actually RPG has two message processors by default. As you can see, it allowed six, even though we specified as a three per minute. As you can see, the further calls will fail with 500 and it says uh, quota policy error, even if you see in the browser. As you can see, rate limit quota violation. But it will load more than uh, three requests uh, to the backend server. Let's uh, update this particular policy with the distributed and synchronous elements. And let's see how it works. I will say distributed uh, to true so that uh, universal central counter is maintained and I'm gonna say update uh, the message process uh, counters synchronously now it should allow only uh, three calls per minute no matter what let's test this out let's save the API proxy let's go back to the trace start a new trace session now no matter what, uh, how many message process exists in your particular arc, it should allow only three messages. Let's test it out. As you can see, only three messages are allowed and uh, further all the requests uh, gives a 500. The only downside to this is the performance because the counters has to be synchronized uh, across all message processors. But if you know how many message processors exist and if you are not particular about exact quota, then you can, you can uh, exclude these elements and uh, have your pro proxy uh, perform a little better. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Subscribe to YouTube uh, channel to get notified whenever there's a new format video. Thank you for watching this video.